welcome to another video. I am Debbie. Today I have an unboxing and a kitting up of Sylvester and this is from Diamond Art Club and Looney Tunes and so you can see this is a round. It is a 32.8 centimeter by 38 centimeter so it's not very big which is really good but I wanted to go ahead and get this one opened and kitted up because I wanna work on this in between another one that I'm going to start that's gonna be a little bit larger. And also I'm going on a work event and I want to take this with me. I'm staying overnight. I'm gonna have some time during the day that I'll be able to dye and paint. So I thought that would be perfect time to take this one because it will easily fit into my bag. So this is what the small, photo looks like. Normally I put this on the end of my box, but since I'm going to go ahead and start working on it, I'll just put that in my, my journal. So go ahead and open this. I think this one, I'm assuming I have not seen it unboxed or completed yet. It's fairly new with Diamond Art Club. But I am assuming that this is going to be not very many colors and it's going to be a lot of color blocking. And so that I thought would be absolutely perfect for this event I'm having to go to for work. And I'm sure by the time that you see this, honestly, I'll already be back. Probably have this finished, but I wanted to go ahead and kit it up and put it on the channel where it works best. So definitely going to be a lot of color blocking. And you guys, look, I've got to show you this. Look how many colors. There's five, five whopping colors. So this is not going to take me but just a few minutes to get up. It won't be very long to get down either. And I'm going to be able to get all of this done over the weekend. So this is all going to be the white, all of the one little dot there. Then we have all the black here, which is 310, of course. Couldn't get away from that. The number one, the red here is the background, and that is number 115. So that should be an, I, an AB. So that's really cool. And then we have... Those are number ones, which is over here. I was pointing to the wrong one, but this is number one right here. And then all this background part here, the outside, like the part that's going to be number one is just on the outside of his nose here, the outside of his body. And then all around this part, that is all going to be 666, which I love that color. It is really pretty. So it's not gonna take long at all for this one. And I'm not adding any more additional ABs to this. I might add some ABs to his whiskers. I do have black 310, which I'm not really crazy about, but that may be really cute on the whiskers. There's a little bit of gray and that's just outlining his nose. And then right through here, which is part of whiskers, it looks like. And then this part here from his eye. So that is what this one looks like. Really cute, but really small. And so here is the larger picture of it. And it shows you the five stickers. These are already pre-done for you, already cut. All I have to do is put those on a few of the containers. They do give you a thank you for your purchase. There's also codes on here for your next purchase. There's always codes for Diamond Art Club. After you purchase their first kit, then you can join the VIP Facebook group and there's always codes in there. Let's take a look at this toolkit. This one is the newer toolkit. There may be some of the older toolkits still circulating, but I would think with the newer kits, you're gonna have new, new toolkits. Of course, I can't guarantee that I have no idea. But whatever toolkit you get, everything is in there that you possibly need to complete this kit. We have a small white boat, and they do give you a stopper if you want to put the stopper on the end. 
So when you shake your drills violently, like I often do and forget, your stopper's on, so all your drills are not going to just fall out like mine typically do. We have some baggies. There's a blue squishy that matches the blue pin. There's a single placer on this end. They also give you, this is a two placer, I believe, that you can put on the other end if you like to multi-place. I'll definitely multi-place on this one because there's no way I'm gonna sit and single place all of these. And I have just received my 15 multi-placer. So this is gonna give me plenty of opportunity to practice on that. Then we have another one. This one's a seven placer. They also give you a cover minder that you can use to hold back the plastic if you want to. And this one's of a little pig. That's really cool. I don't know if that's a pig or a bear. That's a pig, you can see the nose. Okay, that is a pig. And then we have some washi tape. This is really pretty washi tape. I don't know if this is the washi that I will use for this or if this, and there's my cat. Um, I don't know if this is what I'll use or not, but it's really pretty washi. And you get just different washi and you will get different pins possibly and possibly a different cover minder. And she is all over. Sorry, now she just kicked my camera. We do have a couple of heart wax. And so this, make sure, this is a little bit thicker, make sure that you do peel off the plastic on the heart or you will not be able to use this wax because you will not get to it. And let's look at the drills. And then I'm going to kit this up. That's just funny that there's five colors. I love it. Okay. So, we have 317. Look how shiny. I mean, that is just gorgeous. I don't have any extra light. That's just natural light coming in. It's cloudy here today, too. So you can just see how sparkly and pretty those are. Then we have 115, which is the ABs. We have two bags full of 5,200. We have 310, two bags of 310. And then we have two bags of 666. But look how gorgeous that this is. I'm definitely not gonna add any more to this. But I want to rearrange things, decide if I'm going to use a Harbor Freight since it holds more, and go ahead and start kitting this up. So I will be right back. Okay, I decided I am gonna go ahead and use my Harbor Freight because they do hold more. I have plenty of containers, 24, when I only have five colors. I thought about using the smaller ones that connect because they are smaller to put in my bag, but I'm gonna have plenty of room. This is just a little bit wider than that one and I can put more in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these. I have my handy dandy static guard ready. I have my dryer sheets ready. So I am ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with 115, although I guess it really doesn't matter what I start with considering that there's only five colors. I don't think I've ever done a Diamond Art Club that's only five colors. This may prove to be interesting. Let's go ahead, put these in here. I hope that I don't have any static. Uh, I can't promise anything because I say that every time. Doesn't look like much static. Then all of a sudden, I have static all over my table. I have static on the floor. So we will see what it's gonna look like. I also have my handy dandy garbage can. The next one, let's get a 310. I'm gonna go ahead and go across with these. Not that it really matters. When I saw that Diamond Art Club a while back, that they came out with you know, different cartoons. They had SpongeBob, and 
I thought, you know, I'm not going to purchase any cartoons. I don't think that that's going to be anything that I'm going to want to do. Where am I going to put it? You know, that kind of thing. And then I saw when they came out with these, I ended up going ahead and purchasing them because they are small, they're cute, and it really brings back a lot of memories for me. My grandmother and I used to love to get up on Saturday mornings when I stayed at her house, and she lived close by. I stayed at her house quite often, not because I had to, but because I wanted to. And she always wanted me to stay over there. She never said no. She was always just absolutely wonderful when I was growing up. So we would get up on Saturday mornings and they would have all these cartoons on. And my grandfather's favorite cartoon was Daffy Duck. And my grandmother's was Sylvester. And she just loved Sylvester. And then they would start talking, well, Sylvester is better than Daffy. And you know, Daffy's kind of crazy and silly and he's just a duck and Sylvester's a cat and cats are better. And they would just go back and forth, just, you know, funny bantering that they always love to do um, with each other. So then they would ask me, you know, which one do you like the best? So of course, since I love both of them, I was not gonna get into their little fun spats, which they never fall. It was just, you know, fun and fun play. So I would always tell them, well, my favorite is Sylvester and it's Daffy Duck because I love ducks and I love cats. And that was the only thing I could ever think of saying. And so they were happy, you know, about that. And we'd watch it every weekend and then they would even record it sometimes when I wasn't there. We'd always watch it together. So when I saw that Diamond Art Club was coming out with both of these, I went ahead and got it. I would have gotten all of them, but I thought I just need to get two. And so now I kind of regret that I didn't get Marvin, but that's okay. I will be able to get the others when they do come back and stop. If I decide that's what I want to do, but I definitely wanted to get these two. I didn't know if it's gonna be limited edition. I don't really think that they are. But I know that as of the day that I'm filming this, it's still out there. You're able to still order. And I'll put the link out there if anybody is interested. And I am recording this on March the 29th, just to let everybody know. You're probably going to see it a week or two later, but I wanted to get this done. I wanted to do it so I can have it recorded for you guys. I thought that would be really fun. Especially, I didn't know it, but it only had this many colors. And so this won't take very long at all. And I wanted to have a fun video for you guys instead of just all the large ones that I always do. And I thought this would be perfect. So, Hopefully, I will have a finish. I don't think I'll have the finish before I get this one out there. I'm trying to get a little ahead on videos too, just in case something comes up and I can't record. I don't know what that is, it's gonna be green. Let me see make sure it's not on the in inside, on the outside, so we're good. And that is my kidding up. And guess what? No static, I mean none. Hooray for no static. But what I did is that since there's only this many colors, five colors, I went ahead and I just put the labels on the colors that I have the first one of. So I only have one of 115, but like on 310, I'm gonna have two of these. Well, I can tell this is 310. And this is 310. It's not that difficult when I only have just a very few. And 317, I don't have hardly any. So I don't have to try to compare 317 to 310 because they're both dark. And the same thing with the 
the red 666, only red I have other than my ABs. And then this 5200, of course, is white. I, again, I may go ahead, I'm gonna look and see if I want to add more to Sylvester's, um, to either his hair, that might be kind of cute, to add like up through here on his hair, um, maybe this part of his hair to add some AB. So that would be the three little pieces that's sticking up there. I don't think I'm going to add 310 on his whiskers. That might be a little much, but I may get, I'm gonna get my 310 blacks out just to see how it would look. And I may take it off, I may not. I'm not crazy about black 310, but that would be just a little bit, not much. And it might give it just a little bit of character and it will be different than anyone else's. But I really think this is so cute. I hope that you enjoyed this short video, which is really funny that it is an unboxing and a kidding up and I'm already done and no static. I cannot tell you that it just makes me so happy. There wasn't any static at all. So had my static guard on hand for no reason whatsoever. So now I'm going to put that up. But if I didn't have my static guard, I'd have static like crazy. So maybe I should come and be prepared more have the static guard ready, have the entire bounce sheet ready, and maybe that way I won't have any static. So we will see. But I hope that you enjoyed this short video, and if you did, please give it a like. That really does help with the um, YouTube getting all of my videos out there. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so. So please consider it, and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.